Dear believers, to uh, uh, this is our Sunday program, and uh, this program is basically a fundraising program. These uh, the DVD this made today will be duplicated and uh, distributed this Thursday out at IEC. And um, then the week after that, we'll come out and uh, you could uh, help as much as you like. But, of course, this is sponsored by Saba Kuhn. Um, those who lead the way, and it could be those who make the way too sometime, you know. So uh, I want to start out by uh, just showing you a picture too. This is Niagara Falls, of course. This is Javad Larijani. This is your dear brother here. This is at that time, uh, uh, he was the uh, the head of the uh, the office the uh, in in New York, the UN mission. This is Ayatollah Mahdavi Kani. They don't have turbans on right here. It wouldn't have been that. Uh, this is 1984. You can see Niagara Falls. We're on the Canadian side, and this is one of the. You can see the falls in the background. This is a one of the first big programs that we had uh, in in the West, and it was held in Canada. Uh, this is Sheikh Safarazi, and this is our brother from Berkeley. Hossein Nadari. I showed you this because, uh, of course, you know the the, the famous university that, is, that was headed by Ayatollah Mahdavi Kani. Okay, you can see everybody's beard is kind of black except his. This is, uh, this is Javad Larijani. He's a big, uh, well, his whole family is big. Every time you open a paper, you read the head of the Senate or the head of this Larry Johnny and da 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 da, Larry Johnny. And he was a student at Berkeley and he just finished up. He had just went back to Iran. Just went back. But he also came over here. In fact, when I met him was on the we had a program, the first big program that I spoke at, one of the first, was after the seventh of tier. Y'all all know what that is, of course. That was uh the bombing of uh the biggest bombing that went on in Iran and it killed seventy two martyrs. And you know, seventy two is a key number, so Whatever they did to us, it was always, uh, <laughs> we took it the other way. And uh, uh, Larry Johnny, Larry Johnny just got his feet grounded. When he first went back home, his analysis, he come from a good family, but his analysis for the first 20 years was uh, just, I couldn't believe it. It was horrible. But he was one of the student leaders, uh, Iranian student leaders at UC Berkeley, Berkeley next to Oakland. He came to the masjid here, everything that was all happening. When he went home and when Brother Mujtaba Mahzoun went home, this brother took over at Berkeley, Hussein Nadari. In fact, the brothers from Berkeley was upstairs with uh, uh, our famous Ayatollah, you know. And what they did was they was translating what I was saying, you know, in good English, uh, transferred in to good Persian. 
So when Ayatollah Mahdavi Kani came down to speak after I did, he said, Asant, you know, like, thank you, and da 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 da. And he told, they told him what I was saying in detail. He was very impressed. So was everybody else because they didn't expect that. What Muhammad al Asi told me, he says, you got a gift. Don't lose it. I said, I don't plan to, you know, in other words, we hope it gets better. But, you know, at that time, we young and fired up. And it was a good historical thing. Now, to get to what we want to talk about. At the Daftar not long ago, some years ago, not that many, they told me that, well, this guy here is on the staff of Ahmadinejad. And, you know, that's kind of, and I looked at him and said, uh, these are all, we're all home folks here. And everybody got a right to, you know, like uh, suppose somebody, we're going to have a vote with somebody and somebody come by and tell one of us, uh, so you're going to vote for so-and-so, man? They, say they all black, you know, just, you say, yeah, I'm going to vote for so-and-so because such and such and such. And they tell you, you can't do that. Why that is da 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 da, and he hangs out with da 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 da, da, da and you know all of that, right? What I was telling them was, look, I am not in, evolve, involved in daily Iranian politics, and I would tell them every time I support Velayat Fakhi, and this may look like. Valiente Faki, you know what I mean? That it's, it's there to help people understand what Imam Musa thinks. Because this is translated from a lecture that I was doing. And it really could be telling all the brothers, the leftover stooges and snitches, Jaryan Nafuzi. Yeah, it's a long story. That could be very well. It was on the front page of the, the political newspaper there. So it's telling everybody this is what this guy supports. He's not one of us. He wouldn't come along. He stayed with them. He stayed with the system. Right? All of us are, well, you know, for instance, if one of them wants to go to Syria with the revolutionaries at a conference, they'll leave him behind. Say, you stay over here with uh, Medea Benjamin them. That's who you like, right? Okay, remember, we started out all together. And, and I evolved to a certain position. I just opened a masjid in Oakland and... Uh, I would get on the highway and be gone for a month. I had to open the mustard and let the air flow. You know, the, the, it would get a little musty. It wouldn't stay in, but it would blow right on out. Because I'd be on the road so much then. And then as I got time later on to stay there more. But it was so much going on in, in, uh, uh, in the United States and with the revolution and everything. Well, the same thing is going on now, except on a higher level. As you know, when you go to the news and punch up anything, you're going to hear something about Iran, and you're never going to hear anything good. And so how could somebody stay on front page number one, two, or no farther than three for 40-something for years? And all on the bad page, not one single, well, Iran's economy seems to be doing good. They've really adjusted to certain things and their vegetable markets and their this and their rocketry, all of that. They're doing pretty good. You don't see none of that. Okay. So what I got in my mind when the brothers told me, now I haven't seen this brother since then, but he was a 
We worked together for two, three years because after the main crew left, he was in charge. You know, there's always one of the, they leave one student leader behind that coordinates activity. Da, 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 da. And so we, uh, we talked together, we worked together just like the older crew did for several years. Uh, finally he went home and we, when he went home, uh, well, it's just like everybody at the beginning of the revolution kind of has to toe the line, uh, but in their heart they're, they're not quite as revolutionary and they might have another team that they kind of like. It would be natural. And so they drift. What I told them, I told the Iranians, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not an Iranian. I'm for the Islamic Republic. I'm for the system of Walayati Faki, which you could tell by their behavior. They're not about that at all. And guess what? In the United States, I don't think it's uh, one. I don't think it's too many over here. You don't hear nothing about it. And all the Negroes that uh, change to Shiism, I haven't found one that comes every now and then and talks about Walai Tifaki. It's as though they don't know nothing about it. Well, Imam Hussein and Abu Bakr did this and all that. So I look at them like, you niggas is crazy. I say, Imam Khomeini says Sunnis and Shias are brothers. Like, you know, da 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 da. Why do you think they have Unity Week and all that? They have Unity Week because the Sunnis said, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, uh, something happened on the 12th, and they say it happens on the 17th. Right? So they don't argue about it. They say, we're going to have a whole week, which will cover uh, the 12th past the 17th. And so we're all in unity. They have it every year. They call it Unity Week. Yeah, they've been doing it. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Why would we argue about, uh, well, most people would say, a lot of people would say, well, the family would know the birthday of the prophet better than anybody else in the neighborhood would. Uh, so, so this is what we say, because we... I say, you think I'm going to sit here and waste time about a, a birthday 1,400 years ago or something? Y'all must be crazy. Right? You, what's, what's wrong with y'all? Right? If you think it was there, and they're ready to, to, to change the whole world for that. That's stupidity. The other thing is, is there is no, there's room for difference of opinion. And we believe that when they have an election in Iran, they should all vote for whoever they want. But after they vote, and whoever wins, there should be at least a twofold policy. Either number one, join with that person to help that person get his program over, no matter who won it. Because, and the other thing is, if you can't support it, remain neutral. Don't do nothing to harm. Don't drag your foot, you know, you're trying to pull this whole wagon up the hill and somebody, every time you look around, they pull their foot and they've been dragging their foot and got sandbags behind it and you, and you got to pull all of that uphill, right? What does that mean? Like American politics, they say they're not going anywhere. How can they go anywhere? They're going to have this team and that team. And when that team goes in, only the members of that team are going to support that person, right? So that's going to leave out the whole 49, 48 
45 percent of us. Right. And we're not going to help them. In fact, we're going to use as much power as we could hustle up to stop them from getting their program through. Which remember when you to get a policy enacted or going uphill, it's hard already. So if somebody is dragging a foot and the only time you pull it in is when they ain't looking, you're going to be tired trying to get that program up that hill over there. Right. It's the same thing in Iran. So we told the people, look, look, I told the brothers. I don't I don't get involved in uh, the, the minute the minute Iranian politics. I said, but if they elect somebody as president, there's been several presidents. 